Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, it has been a minute since my last video. Um, I don't have a pair of new boots for you today. I've got some boots that I have had on the channel um, once each before, and these are my NYX Prospectors and my White's Bounty Hunters. And so this is a two month update on the Patina Thunderdome hosted by Stitchdown. So let's get into it. If you haven't seen either of these boots, um, check my channel. There are videos on both of these, but real quick, I'll, I'll do a quick rundown. These are a seven inch tall whites bounty hunter. This is a laced toe, structured toe, natural wax flesh, natural CXL, single row trim, commando half soles. Um, and these are the NYX Handmade Boots Prospector Boot and Wicket and Craig Tan Oil Latigo. They are structured toe, 67 last, um, six inch boot, dogger heel, it's like a low packer heel. Um, and uh, so yeah, these are both fully custom boots. NYX, uh, you know, both companies will, will do kind of whatever you want them to do. Um, and uh, I had originally ordered these whites um, before the Thunderdome was announced. And then when I heard that it was it was going to happen, I was like, oh, man, these boots would be pretty good. Pretty good for the competition. Basically, what it is is just a seven month long contest. You just wear your boots. You get, you know, normal everyday wear on them. You upload photos um, to show show them off the, the, you know, the actual just earned patina and wear in the boots and they're judged and you know there's there's prizes to win um i'm not really doing it for the prizes kind of just doing it for fun i like to wear boots and it's just something fun to do so this is my two month update um and you know i thought about doing a one month update but since i have two pairs and i'm rotating pretty evenly between them along with wearing other boots um during the week uh you know really this probably represents like one month of like full wear on each boot so so that's why i did two months two months for two boots you know um these bounty hunters are looking really good that uh let me get my camera to focus that um wax flesh just really starting to come through i li really like the natural chrome xl um these boots are so comfy i'd say they're they're more comfortable than the Knicks. I think they're a little bit lighter, even though they're a taller boot and kind of more of more boot, you know? Um, they're just, this upper is just so, so soft, so moldable, so flimsy. I like the height. The height hits me at a really good spot, really hugs your ankles, feels good. Um, they're really flexible with that half sole and then that single row trim, um, they're super flexible. Um, it, uh, it's just, they're, they're, they're comfy. The only thing I've done to them is on this boot, I put a little stitch here, um, to hold that kilty in place. Cause this kilty kept sliding down. So at the end of the day, it'd be like way out here. Um, you know, it wasn't staying back how I wanted it. And then this one was fine. So I haven't stitched this one. I might do it just so they're, so they're consistent, but but uh, yeah, that's just know, something something I noticed. Um, so yeah, the, the patina on these is, is really coming through. You know, that I strike this heel as I'm walking. Um, so a lot of scuffs there on the on those counters. Um, toes are toes are coming in. I re I really love how wax flesh just kind of rolls. It doesn't necessarily crease. So there's some good a good little roll there. Um, you get a little bit of a crinkle here on the side. Yeah, just so nice, nice patina. I think these are more comfortable just for every day. Just put them on, I don't know, the last just hits me well. They're light, um, less robust, less of a work boot than the NYX, but the NYX are definitely comfortable. These are probably my two most comfortable pairs, honestly. Uh, maybe just because I've been wearing them the most. Um, but uh yeah they are so comfy one thing that i found really interesting is so on the whites the whites kind of like to do this they call it like a w fold on the gusseted tongue um there's some good uh 
indigo crocking there on the tops of both of the tongues. Um, let's see, kind of. And then the Knicks like to do what they call an S fold. So it's like an S. Um, and I tried, I, I've never done the S fold. I've always done this W fold. So I tried to do the W fold on these Knicks to try to train these, these gussets to do that, but they just wouldn't do it. They really wanted to, to do the S, the S fold. So I've been rolling with it. And honestly, like I haven't really noticed a difference comfort wise. I think they, they feel pretty much the same once, you know, after the, you have them on and they warm up, get used to your body temp and a few minutes in they're they're pretty perfect. Um, so yeah, interesting note on those tongues, but really I haven't noticed it makes that much of a difference. Now this leather, the Wicked and Craig Tan Oil Latigo, man, this stuff is so thick. It definitely creases, you know, bigger, bigger creases like normal, like veg tan creases will. My left foot's a little longer, so this, the left vamp is a, definitely more creased than the right vamp. Not exactly sure why that is, um, but you can see pretty big creases. A um, little bit of action there on the toe. These things are comfy, but really, you know, I've seen there's a guy on the forum that has a, a pair of whites MPs in this leather and his are like crease city. And I think that's because whites, when whites runs this leather, it's a little bit thinner. The NYX is like seven, eight ounce. I think whites uses like six to seven ounce. So I'm having a harder time creasing this stuff. Um, I'm honestly having a hard time putting much, many marks on it. Um, some of this stuff was just kind of already the grain and the texture of the leather and it's just kind of darkening up a little bit with wear. Um, but I mean, if you compare like same boot, you know, that, that inside heel counter, I mean, here again, this is wax flesh, so it shows everything, but th there's, there's, you know, some marks there, but less than I would expect. Um, but man, these boots just look cool. Like, look at that silhouette. It's just that upturned toe, that dogger heel. These nicks just look cool. And they're a good height too. They're really not that much lower than the whites. I mean, what is that? It's like, you know, like half an inch. Really, really not much of a difference. Um, these have, the whites have a typical lager kill tee. These have just like a the rounded kind of Nyx proprietary kill tee. Um, this last is good. So this is the 11067 last. Um, they call it like the, what do they call it? The sprung toe. Um, it has like a pretty moderate arch. You can see that leather shank here that on that belly. Um, it has a pretty moderate arch. It's not definitely, definitely not the 55 arch, but it's still definitely there. And it's a, it's a really comfy, just like put it on, not even worry about it last walk around. And these boots really are not that heavy. They're just a little bit heavier than the whites. Um, but I love them. I, you know, at first I was worried that this kind of reddish color would almost be like too, too red, too kind of out there for like everyday wear. Um, you know, the more natural, like natural CXL, natural wax flesh. It's, it's just a simple color. It's easy to match with clothing. Um, and I don't know if it's just cause I really love these boots or what, but I have not found them too difficult to style, um, to wear. They, they stand out a little bit more, you know, um, they're definitely red, pretty reddish in the sun, but uh, but I really haven't found them too hard to style. So um, you can see just a little bit of these patina shots here. The, the leather does kind of darken. Um, it has a, like a, a pretty bright pull up, but it's kind of hard to see the effect taking place. These, the you know the, the the mountains of the creases the the high spots are, are darkening up and so i expect these to get pretty pretty dark over their lifespan um i have conditioned these once and then conditioned the uppers um the cxl on the whites once each with big four um which you know doesn't doesn't really do any darkening big four is kind of just uh the conditioner you want to use when you don't want to change anything, when you just want uh, to condition the leather, but not change the color. So, so that's what I've done. Um, and I probably won't do it too much. They really don't need it. Um, they don't see a ton of water, just kind of everyday wear them. I'm in Northern California, so it's not like we get rain or anything 
<laughs> um, yeah, I, that's about all I got for you guys. Uh, I guess to sum it up, the whites, a little more comfortable, super comfy in general. The Knicks, definitely thicker, more robust, beefier boot. No, uh, no surprise there. That's kind of the reputation um, in general. The whites are just a little bit on the lighter side and the, the just less overbuilt side than Knicks are. Um, but that being said, you know, for the spirit of the competition, just casual, you know, I don't wear these for work. I'm an artist. So um, just for casual wear, I haven't found that the, you know, the whites are like not strong enough for my life. I mean, I, they're they're every bit stronger than I will ever put them through. Um, but uh, just, you know, it's just something you notice while wearing them. Um, they're pretty different, you know, this this rounded toe versus the Knicks have a pretty pretty square toe. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with my uh, my decision. They're, they're different, but, um, you know, I guess similar enough to where I'm not like, really favoring one over the other they're they're getting pretty equal equal wear uh, if there's anything you guys want to know uh, specifically hit me up in the comments and i'll try to hit that on the next video i'll try to do maybe maybe every two months or maybe maybe i'll do another one at, at three months um now because it seems like the patina is really starting to, to take off on both these pairs now and they're they've kind of broken past their their brand new state so uh, let me know what you guys want to hear and I'll try to talk about it next time.